All right, so I got my Acura MDX here. I'm just doing a little testing on it. I originally was testing it on the output side, but it was too much torque to deal with, so now I flipped it to the input. So essentially what I got going on is I got the case pretty much, uh, or framework for the case welded to the welding table. Uh, this thing is bolted up to the input shaft, just a big long beam. I didn't need it to be that long, but it's just what I had. Um, the output shaft is pretty much welded to onto the welding table once again. And then I got my jumper wires here that go to my coil pack, the clutches, and it'll get energized by just your standard 12 volt car battery. So uh, regarding the beam, I just got pretty much, it's just going to be a really crude test just to see what we got going on. Uh, two foot intervals, two foot, two and a half, three foot, anything up to that just slips anyways. I already did a trial run. So let's see how much torque this thing can hold up. What I'll be doing is just using my body weight. It's just a really crude system. Without stopping here, keep it up in the air because there's a lot of deflection that occurs for the backlash and whatnot. Do is energize the coil. The clutch is actuated right now. Lose the stop. See how much torque you can handle. As you can see, it's just cantilevering off its own. Right, right now, body weight is hanging up. So, what I'll do is just evenly spread my body weight across the two foot mark. I kind of have a little index mark, so I apply a nice even force, like you're torquing a wrench. And as you can see, I'm just not flipping at all with my body weight. Now, if we go to two and a half. Slips. So, definitely around that two and a half mark that this thing is starting slipping on you. So, yeah, as you can see, it really just, whoop, it was right there and now it slipped all the way back over there. So, what we'll do is we'll just do some quick number crunching here. I weigh a buck 40 times 2.5 that gives us 350 pound feet of torque approximately that's when it started slipping on us and then you got to take into account the weight of the beam which applies a moment of around 67 pound feet so plus 67 is about 417 pound feet of torque when slipped so if you really want to know how much it can hold, you'd obviously have to downgrade that quite a bit, but I'm not going to get all technical on that. So we'll just say around 400 pound-feet is the maximum input torque that this thing can handle in the cold state. Bear in mind that as well. Once you start getting your thermal uh, stuff taking place too, that can definitely affect how much torque capacity this thing can take. So... And if you want to know how much output torque that would be, you just multiply that input number times 3.33, which is a gear reduction. So 1388 pound feet of output torque. Really, not as much as I was hoping. I mean, it's obviously for a, uh, a crossover vehicle, so and it's not meant to take the full brunt of the engine on an Acura. But I can tell you that this thing will definitely clutch more than this thing. Now obviously that's really crude, you know, Kalashnikov technology compared to this, which is a nice oil bath wet clutch and all that fun stuff, and it's much more compact. But uh, I think it's a viable option. I'll just have to do some thinking, because I'm not sure if I can actually hook up a large motor to this uh, setup if I'd ran two Acura MDXs, because that would be definitely beyond the capabilities of this unit if I put a a 1.9 between two of them even with two of them it wouldn't be able to spread the torque thin enough to uh, uh, to hold up to the clutching now if I can keep my vehicle weight down and maybe run smaller tires then maybe it would be able to hold up but um, you would never be able to actually you know put all that horsepower to the ground because this would be your mechanical fuse here but uh yeah, what we'll do is just kind of de-energize the coil here. You kind of see this thing just watch her drop off. But yeah, I hope this information was useful because it sure helped me out in terms of figuring out if this thing was actually going to hold up. And it's 
a lot more, a uh, lot less torque than I was thinking compared if you just calculated out the torque of the entire vehicle from like the internet and whatnot. But it's always good to test in real life compared to just theorizing, you know, armchair theorizing and whatnot. So, yep. 417 pound feet of input and 1388 pound feet of output. Accurate MDX rear differential year 2007 to 2014 with the planetary setup. 